The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 19 and 20. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on August 25th, 1973, in London, England. He who thinks that the living entity is the slayer, or that he is slain, does not understand. One who is in knowledge knows that the self slays not, nor is slain. For the soul there is never birth nor death, nor having once been does he ever cease to be. He is unborn, eternal, ever-existing, undying, and primable. He is not slain when the body is slain. So, in different ways, uh, Krishna is trying to convince us how the soul is immortal. Uh, different ways. When there is fight, uh, so if one is still, uh, so Krishna says that if one thinks that this man has killed this man, so, uh, or this man can kill this man, this kind of knowledge is not perfect. Nobody kills nobody. Then the butchers, they may say that, then why do you complain that you are killing? That killing the body but you cannot kill when there is injunction, thou shall not kill. That means you cannot kill the body without sanction. You cannot kill. Although the soul is not killed, the body is killed, still you cannot kill the body without sanction. That is sinful. For example, that a man is living in some apartment, so somewhere or other you drive him away from that, illegally you drive him away. So the man will go out and will take shelter somewhere. That's a fact. But because you have driven him away from his bona fide position, you are killed. He cannot say, although I am driven away, he will get some place. No, that's all right. But you have no power to drive him away. He was in his legal position to live in that apartment, and because we have forcibly driven him away, you are killed. You should be punished. So this argument, the butchers, or the animal killers, or any kind of killer. They cannot put argument. That here, Bhagavad Gita says that soul is never killed. Even after destroying the body, so why you are complaining that you are killing? So this is the argument. That you cannot even kill the body. That is not allowed. That is sinful. Uvhautam na vijanika nāya hanti nahannate. So nobody kills anybody, neither anybody is killed by Āra. This is one. Again, in a different way, Krishna says, the living entity never takes birth. The birth is of the body, or the death is of the body. 
living entity, the spiritual spark, then that being Krishna's part and parcel. Uh, as Krishna does not take birth, does not die, ajopi sarnipi abhyātmā, we find in the fourth chapter. Ajopi, Krishna is ajā. Ajā means who never takes birth. Similarly, we being part and parcel of Krishna, we also never take birth. The birth and death is of this body. And we are so absorbed in the bodily concept of life that when there is birth or death of the body, we feel the pains and pleasure. There is no pleasure, of course, uh, birth and death. It is very painful because that is already explained. The consciousness of the soul is spread all over the body. Therefore, the uh, pains and pleasures uh, felt on account of the body. Uh, so Krishna has already advised that such kind of pains and pleasures, matras for sasthi kontiya, uh, touching the skin only, uh, one should not be very much bothered. In this way, if we think about our position, self-realization, how we are different from the body. Actually, this is meditation. If we think very seriously about ourselves and about the body, that is self-realization. Oh. Self-realization means I am not this body, aham brahmasmi, I am spirit soul. That is self-realization. So jayate nam riyati va kodachit. Kodachit means any time, past, present and future. Kodachit. In the past it is already explained. In the past we existed, Maybe in a different body. At present we are existing and in the future also we shall exist, continue to exist, maybe in a different body. Maybe not actually. Tathadi Hantram Prat. Because after giving up this body we have to accept another body. So this is going on. And ignorance Without knowledge of self, we are being kept in ignorance. The so-called educational system all over the world, there is no such education. They are kept in darkness and ignorance and still so much money is being spent, especially in the Western countries. Uh, they have got money, big, big high schools. Uh, but what is the production? All fools and lustres, that's all. Because they do not know, they have no idea what is self. Uh, and without this knowledge, knowledge means self-realization. That I am not this body, I am still so. That is knowledge. And knowledge, how to eat, how to sleep, how to defend, how to enjoy sex life and volumes of books on this subject matter. And these are not knowledge. They are known even by the their cats and dogs. Uh, the cats and dogs never read Freud's philosophy, but they know how to enjoy sex life. So this dog's philosophy will not help you. Uh, that I have got this body and how to enjoy the bodily sex life. This is dog philosophy. And dog know all these things. Your philosophy should be how to refrain from sex life. That is knowledge. 
Tapo Vidya. Tapasya, this human life is meant for tapasya, to refrain from sense gratification. That is not it. Not that how to uh, enjoy sex life or sex gratification. This is known to cats and dogs without any education, without any philosophy. The philosophy pravitreshaṁ bhūtāna nirvitte su mahāphala. Pravitti, every living entity has got this pravitti means uh, uh, propensity. <coughs> what is that? Sense in general. Loki bhavayami samadva siva nityasu jantu. Jantu means the being. Nitya, always, he has got the propensity. Bhavaya amisa madhasi. Bhavaya. Bhavaya means sex life. And amisa means meat eating. Bhavaya amisa madhasi. And in tasu. These are natural instincts of all living. Even among the ants, these propensities are there. Those who have studied, the ants are very much fond of being intoxicated. Therefore they find out sweet sugar. Sweet is intoxicated. Perhaps you know all. Uh, the liquor is made from sugar. Sugar is fermented with acid, sulfuric acid. And then it is distilled. That is liquor. Therefore, too much sweet eating is private. So, loke bhavaya amisavarta seva nittasriyam. Too. This is propensity. Material life means every living entity has got this propensity. But they have to be restricted. Prabhitsi resam bhutana. That is natural existing. But if you can stop them, that is your excellence. That is called tapasya. Tapasya means I have got naturally some propensity. But that is not good. Not good in this sense. If we continue that propensity, then we have to accept this material body. This is the law of nature. <coughs> there is a verse, uh, Paramatya, uh, what is called? Uh, now I'm forgetting that. Uh, that everyone is mad. Man has to send that vision. Rasadu, Rasadu manne, jato atma ya, asanna ki asa toya, biha, dhinava. So long we continue this propensity, our sense and enjoyment, he'll have to accept body. That is birth and death. So long. Therefore, the uh, process should be how to make zero all these potential. That is perfect. Not to enhance Nurang uh, Pramatta Kurute Vikarma Yadindya Pritaya Aprino Ti Nurang Alas Indeed, Pramatta, these mad men, they are mad, those who are after this propensity. Bhavaya avisa madhya seva. Sex, intoxication, and meat eating. They are all mad men. Pramatta. Nunam pramatta purute vikarma. Vikarma means uh, uh, activities which are prohibited. Uh, you see, for these three things, 
ఆవేశం ఆఫ్ ద సీమా ఫర్ సెక్స్ లైఫ్ ఫర్ నీట్ ఈటింగ్ ఫర్ డ్రింకింగ్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ వర్కింగ్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ వర్కింగ్ దీస్ ఆనెస్ట్లీ వర్కింగ్ హౌ టు గెట్ మనీ హౌ టు గెట్ ది బ్లాక్ మార్కెట్ వైట్ మార్కెట్ దీస్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ దీస్ సిల్స్ ఆ విషం అర్ధ సేవ దాట్ ఫార్ నూనం ప్రవర్త కురుతీ కర్మ జదింద్రియ ప్రీతే ఆప్రినోతి దిస్ ఈజ్ ది ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఆఫ్ రిషాబ్ దే టు హిస్ సాంగ్స్ మై డియర్ సాంగ్స్ డోంట్ మీ మిస్ దట్ దీస్ ఆర్ స్కెల్ ఫూల్స్ దే హ్యావ్ బికమ్ మ్యాడ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దిస్ థింగ్ మీట్ ఈ థింగ్ అండ్ ఇంటాక్సికేషన్ అండ్ సెక్స్ లైఫ్ న సాధు మన్నే ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ గుడ్ అట్ ఆల్ న సాధు మన్నే ఐ డోంట్ అలౌ ఐ డోంట్ సే ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ గుడ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ అట్ ఆల్ న సాధు మన్నే వై ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ గుడ్ వీ ఆర్ ఎంజాయింగ్ లైఫ్ యస్ యు ఆర్ ఎంజాయింగ్ నా బట్ జతో ఆత్మనాయం అసన్నపి ఆశతో దేహ so long we'll continue with these things he'll have to accept body and when he accept body there must be birth there must be death there must be disease and there must be uh, old age he'll suffer he'll suffer but your actual position is na jayate you do not take birth but you have condition yourself to take birth. Actually, your position is no birth, eternal life. As Krishna is eternal. Similarly, every one of us, we are eternal. Because you are part and person of Krishna. The same quality. At first, Krishna is Satchit Ananda Vigraha. He is for, transcendental for, eternal for, full of knowledge, full of bliss. Similarly, we are also all the particles the same quality that would be said na jay this problem uh, these rascal civilization they cannot understand that i am itana i am put into this condition of birth and death no rascal understands so paul philosopher scientists all of them they are so rascal fools reject them reject them immediately They are working hard, the same, nūnam pramatta kuruti vikarva. Just like madman works. What is the value of madman's work? Mm-hmm. It is busy whole day and night. I am very busy. Now so what you are, sir? You are a madman. Your brain is cracked, crazy. <laughs> so what is the value of your work? My battery. This is the way. So, So Krishna consciousness is just imagine how important movement it is. It is the best welfare activities for the human society. They are all fools and rascals and they have no knowledge, ignorant of their constitutional position and they are unnecessarily working hard day and night. Therefore they have been saying, Mūrha. Murha means ass. The ass was day and night for the horse and man, for little glass. And the glass is available everywhere, but he still he thinks that if I do not work for the horse and man very hard, I will not get this glass. This is called ass. Therefore, when one becomes intelligent after cultivating knowledge. Uh, one becomes intelligent by and by. First of all, brahmachari. Then, if one cannot remain a brahmachari or like, take a wife, grihastha, then give up, manaprastha, then take sandha. This is process. Then the mudha, they will work day and night for sense gratification. Therefore, at a certain period of life, that uh, stupidity should be given up and taken sundown. 
No, finish. That is all. Now this portion of life should be completely for Krishna's service. That is real sanya. Anasita karma phalam, kārjam karma karoti. It is my duty to serve Krishna. Amitāna sarvanta. Kārjam. Must I do? Must I serve Krishna? That is my position. That is sanya. Anasita karma phalam, kārjam karma karoti. The kormis, they are expecting some good result for sense that position. That is Kormi. And Sannyasi means they are also working very hard, but not for Saint Gatish, for the satisfaction of Krishna. That is Sannyasi. This is Sannyasi and Kormi. Kormi also works very hard, uh, harder and harder. But all for that Amisha Vandasiva. Amisha Vandasiva. Babaya only for sex life eating meat and intoxication. And a devotee was in the same way, hard, but for Krishna satisfaction. This is the difference. And if you want like the four, like this, no more sense gratification, simply for Krishna, then you come to this position, no no more death, no more birth. Because your position is, no jayatana, that is your actual position. Uh, but because you are, you are in ignorance, paramatta, you have become mad, you are because crazy, therefore you are taken to this process of sense gratification, therefore you are entangled in a material body, and the body is changing, that is called birth and death. So if you stop, if you want to stop this birth and death, uh, don't indulge in sensuality. Then again in time. Nunam pramatta kuru gurubhuta. Jad indriya prita e apranoti. Na sadhu manne jatu ātmaya. Asanna pi āsata dhir. All like this body is for few years, it will be ended. And that's all I It will be ended, but you will have to accept another body. The body, accept the body, you have to, because you have got desire. Uh, sense gratification. The sense gratification means you must have material senses to gratify. The Krishna is so pleased, so merciful, not pleased, but he is very merciful. All right, you, he does this rascal once like this. We need this facility, all right. Uh, this rascal wants he is true, all right. Let him have a body, a pig. Uh, this is going on, nature's law. So this knowledge, Bhagavad Gita knowledge, is so perfect eh, for the human society. Eh. And Krishna wants that this knowledge should be spread, eh, because every body, sarva jūni su kontiya sambhavanti mūtkaya, he is the seed-giving father. Father is naturally well-wisher. This is these rascals. They are suffering, prakriti-sthāni, manasasthāni indrāni, prakriti-sthāni causes, simply by guided by mental speculation, mana, and assisted by the senses, they are struggling so hard. And if they come back to me, they can live so nicely as my friend, as my lover, as my father, as my mother, Vrindāvā. So, claim them, again, call them. That, therefore, Krishna comes. Yada, yada, hidhara. Because the whole world is uh, running on under the false impression of sense enjoyment. Therefore, he comes and advises. Sarva dharmaan karitta jara. You rascal, give up all this again. Don't be proud that you are scientifically advanced. You are all rascals. Give up this nonsense. Come to me. I will give you protection. This is Krishna. How merciful he is. And the same business should be done by Krishna's servant. Uh, not to become a great yogi, magic player. No. That is not required. Simply speak what Krishna says. Then he becomes free. Don't speak anything nonsense. 
ચૈતન્ય માં આપણું આવે છે જયારે દાખો ત્યારે કહો કૃષ્ણ ઉપર દે સિમ્પલી યુ પ્રીચ ધી ઇન્સ્ટ્રક્શન ઓફ કૃષ્ણ હું વેવાર યુ મીન ગાયન યુ બી ધન સ્પીચ ઓફ ધેટ વેરી સિમ્પલ થિંગ થેન્ક યુ વેરી મચ